Hi friends, I'm Parwaze and this is our 22nd video in PyQt5 GUI development. So, in this lesson we're going to learn that how you can create a Qmino bar and also Qmino items. So now, uh, till now you, uh, we have created a widget and also dialog windows. Now, this time we're going to use main window because when you want to uh, create uh, menu bars and also for example toolbars or status bars uh, for that you need to use main window you cannot use widget or dialog so now we are going to choose main window and after that click on create so you can see we have a bigger screen in here now in here you can see that we have uh, we can add our menu so now right click and I want file and we can add new so uh, you can add for example save and in here you can see you can add a add separator and you can see that uh, there is a separator in this section uh, also you can add a copy paste and also exit So you can see that this is our uh, main and also main items. And if you come down, you can see there are different uh, options uh, for the, for example, if we select new, uh, so it's a type of uh, queue action. And uh, you can add icon, you can uh, make it enable or uh, checked. Uh, you can add status tape, uh, tip. And these are the fonts changing the font now if you want to add icons for the for example for these uh, menu items it's a little bit tricky in QD designer so now let me just show you uh, so you can see in here we have uh, resources and we are going to just click on this and in here we want to save the resource and I'm going to just say images and let me just add it in here okay now we have images and now we can add uh, add prefix so I want images prefix now in here you can add your icons so uh, we can add files and these are my icons I have already these icons and you can see that these are the icons click on OK so now uh, we have our icons now we need to add the icons in the for the menu item so I want to select new and from the icon we can uh, choose resource images so you can see we have images now so the first one is the new and if you see we have an icon in here now let's do this for save also so save and we have a copy so I can choose resource images copy.png uh, we have paste and I can paste and we have exit And exit so now uh, you can now you can convert this uh, to Python file now we want to use PyYUAC5 so first we need to just save this uh, and I'm going to just call it uh, menu dot UI so after saving the UI file you need to add the UI file in the scripts folder of your Python installation now uh, you can see that this is my Python installation it's in Drive C program files and uh, now this is the scripts folder and because we're using PyYUIC5 module and uh, so for that you need to uh, add your this UI file in the scripts folder 
and the uh, PyYUIC5 is located in the scripts folder now I'm going to just paste it in here so this is my UI file and if you come down you can see in here we have PyYUIC5 okay now uh, we need to just uh, open in terminal and this is my terminal so you can see the location is my Python 3.7 and a scripts folder and we can just say pyuic5 and after that you need to add your ui file name dot ui and after that output and give the dot pi name so now it's converted and if you see we have menu.py in here now let me just cut this and bring this in my uh, python file in here and this is menu.py so you can see but it's not running because uh, when you're converting your file I have forgot to add some things in here so now let me just uh, do my Python conversion my conversion again so open the terminal and in here after that you need to add a X in here so because it will create the window object for you the uh, queue application object so now we are going to just uh, find our file again in the scripts folder python 3.7 and this is scripts menu.py cut and paste this in here okay now you can see that this is our converted file and uh, so this is the converted file the first thing you need uh, so you can see that uh, if you don't use that uh, so now you can see we have our this uh, uh, queue application in here uh, we'll remove this images are seen here and now we want to run this okay now we have our file new but we don't have our icons now for the icons if you see uh, now you can see it's uh, we need to create a new uh, directory at name of images and after that we can copy our icons so now in here I'm going to just create images and now I want to add my icons in here paste the icons okay these are the icons so now we can just remove this uh, images new.png and if I run this so you can see new.png and now we can do the same for all of our uh, menu items now we can run this again so these are the amino items now uh, how you can do this using coding so for right now we have used Qt Designer but if you don't want to use Qt Designer now we want to do this uh, manually okay now I have created a new Python file and you can see this time I am extending from Q main window not Q widget or Q dialog so it's just a simple window if I run this uh, you can see that I have my window now uh, first we need to uh, and here we need to create our main menu so 
first I'm going to just create a method def create menu and we can say main menu uh, self dot menu bar and we want to add a file menu main menu dot add menu and this is file so we can just call self dot create menu and now if I run this so you can see we have file in here but there is no menu items now we need to add some items in here uh, for this we need to import Q action so the first one is new action and it is Q uh, action uh, we need to add an icon so the location of icon is images and it is new.png and it is new and the parent is self also you can uh, add shortcut so set shortcut control plus n and now we need to add this action new action to the file menu dot add action and it is new action so now we have new with the icon but we don't have shortcut uh, new action dot So I think it's because we have a space in here we don't need to give space and now we should see our shortcut now you can see control N. Uh, let's do this for our more menu items. Save action it is save control S. Uh, now in here I want to add a separator so file menu dot add separator copy action this is copy dot png copy control C and after copy we have paste control P now the last one is uh, exit exit action uh, this is exit we don't need shortcut for this okay now uh, we are going to run this So now we can see that these are our menu items. So for the menu items, we have a signal that's called triggered. Now, uh, for example, if I want to uh, click on the exit, I want to close the window. So for this, let me just uh, create a diff close window, and we can say self dot close now we can just uh, connect with the exit action so exit action dot triggered dot connect
with self dot close window. Now if I exit this so you can see that we don't have our window. Uh, thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the source codes you can just uh, check the video description.